Hello viewers, this is Dr. Rana and this is a uh, second video of Maple tutorial series. Uh, now I am focused on a solution of uh, different analytical techniques for solving, used for solving uh, non-linear differential equation, even uh, the integral differential equation and integral equation. So there are several methods are uh, famous these days which you can use, uh, use to solve the differential equation and the code is uh, you can make the code easily by using maple so i have randomly find a paper so which is published in uh, physics letter a the paper by ganji and you can see that he has used the his homotopy perturbation method to solve a, a differential equation which is arises in a heat transfer over a flat plane he has used his homotopy perturbation method. So today I am going to construct a code of uh, this paper. Uh, the paper contains two different type of equations. First is the Navier-Stokes equation. Uh, this one, and second is the heat transfer equation, the energy transfer equation. So finally, the after uh, using the similarity transformations, and he he is able to get our uh, two equations. So first equation is this, and second is this. Uh, and using these three uh, these five bonding conditions. So today I am going to solve this equation under these three conditions and the method is available here. So I am going to construct the code using uh, the technique given by uh, his which is homotopy perturbation method and mentioned here and then we are going to check the results and just validate the whether our results is correct or not. So uh, with this we can directly go to the map and uh, we are going to custom this. So first we can uh, say the restart command. So obviously restart command is important. So next you can use the PDE tools. So you can use the declare. So fx prime is equal to x. So you can see that here now fx is uh, displaced as f and derivatives as the prime. So number of terms you can take as 3, 4, 5 is up to you. So it's a series. The number of terms is a series. Uh, so we can define a function fx. So function is defined as by the summation. So summation is mentioned here. So you can write from here or either you can write the sum sum of pi's p raised to power i into is multiplied by f of x so f of x is multiplied by the coefficient so i can write first the coefficient number and then the index index is started from 0 to n so output is is 2d format so you can change the format by Converting it to the 1D. So when they run this, yeah, so this is the series. Similarly, if you wish to change the value of n like to 4 and run this, it will convert it to the 4 equation, 4 number of uh, PA power. So next is that when you go to the paper, so I will now here. So this is the way the format of equations are written here. There is 1 minus P. P is the parameter which is called the perturbation parameter which is multiplied by this term and here this term is taken as 0 so when the P is 1 so this term will be finished and P1 we are left with the main equation if the P is 0 then this term is gone we are left with this equation which will satisfy the main bonding conditions so practically we wish to write this equation so now we will type this equation so I write HPM equation say that HPM EQ is we say that so 1 minus p is uh, written multiplied by the differentiation of fx with respect to x so you can write either 3 times x or the symbol is multi this this symbol is with means third derivative so this is the third derivative we will use uh, then again we multiply by p so same thing we'll write here. Plus 
1 by 2 of differentiating of x with x x multiplied by f of x so this is the equation so you can change the even the output format otherwise it's up to you so we will run this there is some error operator obviously we will using uh, ok the comma sign is not there is the differential equation yeah it's mentioned here in terms of prime so if you wish to change the 1d version 1d output version you can go to this 1d output format so it's up to you so next uh, now we wish to find the coefficients of p so the coefficients will be calculated by using the for loop so when we write for the command is easy i from 0 to number of terms n so do the equation command is there so i can write the equation number eq is just a random name then i so we can write the coefficient which coefficient hp eq coefficient is there so term is mentioned here p and i so we will put the coefficient equal to 0 and we will finish this for loop ok you run this so it will show the error this so no problem so you will get this type of output so then you can write the conditions for the conditions I directly copy my code so I will make you understand that how we write the conditions so conditions is uh, written here i can write the condition is f0 is 0 the derivative is given as 0 so infinity is not mentioned in this paper so what is the value for the infinity this one so we can directly for the table the value is taken as 5 so we can take this as a infinity value so infinity is 0 and similarly this is actually for the starting point which is for the f naught you can see that the condition is actually the main equation main condition which is 0 0 and 1 and later on the value is 0 0 everywhere so that's why the conditions are mentioned is that the first is written as 1 otherwise for loop is is started from 1 to n uh, everything is 0 the next we will use the same command with the equations the equation is written as eq and the condition function is evaluated the right hand side is now written here so important thing is that you can just find the evaluate function by simply find and sum function so number of term is n so this will give you the output so if you not wish to write this so that's up to you then you run this so remember table option is there yeah he again ask the table option so this type of assignment is oh there is some error is mentioned so it's mentioned is con and i will change this term is that condition put is there so if you wish to include uh, the the conversion and if you wish to check the value of this table like the value I wish to check at 2.4 for the value of this derivative of f so 2.4 the value of derivative of f is this so it should be match with our result so value of this of derivative of f is there so now I can run this so member assignment obviously this clarification expression is there the yeah, output is this so you can see that the answer is this but which is not actually matching with this because I am choosing here 4 the 4 equation but in this paper they have chosen only 3 3 equations it means that I have to reduce it to 3 
then run the expression again it's only three so now what is the solution yeah you can see that the expression is 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 the same this term is almost same you know it's exactly matching so this term is not matching so there is some difference in this term maybe the error terms they have chosen like 25 digits they are choosing as accuracy so it's up to you now but but my, my aim is to match the table the tabular value 2.4 the value is this so when I think it's 0 0.7632 so when you see the value in the code you can see that the mentioned value is 0 0.7732 the mentioned value is the same at least at say a decimal it means that the code is only the two or three line code if you wish to solve this and similarly you can add another equation which is parallel for the theta and you can solve this in the same way so this is all about the today's lecture so have a nice day